When you're creating content in Unity, you can typically see how the content will be presented to your audience by viewing the Game tab in the editor. The Game tab allows you to view the screen at varying resolutions and is useful for platforms such as PC, Mac, and Linux. But if you're creating content for mobile devices, you'll likely have to constantly tweak and deploy your build to make sure it works with many different device characteristics. Even if you have all of the targeted devices to test, the process of testing on each device can be cumbersome and time-consuming. To facilitate this process, we've released Device Simulator as a preview package for Unity 2019.3 and higher. Device Simulator provides an alternative simulator view, similar to the traditional game view, but with the added benefit of being able to visualize different behavior and physical characteristics of various mobile devices. To install Device Simulator on Unity 2019.3, open the Package Manager by selecting Window, Package Manager. Ensure that preview packages are enabled by selecting Advanced, Show Preview Packages. Locate Device Simulator and click Install in the bottom right-hand corner of the window. Once installed, you can switch between Game and Simulator mode by clicking the drop-down arrow in the Game tab and selecting Simulator. To the right of the Simulator drop-down, you can view and select the many different devices that are supported out of the box. The Reload button allows you to load new screen and player settings without causing an entire domain reload. Below these buttons, you can view device information such as the operating system, CPU and GPU architecture, and the current resolution of the device. On the last section of the same panel, the device simulator exposes application settings such as the system language, internet connectivity, and an on-low memory callback button. For example, with the on-low memory callback, you can test a situation where you need to unload unused textures and audio clips to free up memory for your system. In the primary view of the simulator tab, you can see how the game is displayed on the device. By enabling the safe area option, you'll see a green outline on the screen, defining the space which is safe for content to not be cut off on the device's display. In the game shown, Neonverse, when viewing the HUD in a portrait orientation in the game view, we can clearly see our header without any kind of obstruction. When we switch our game view to the simulator view and select a device such as Apple's iPhone X, we can see that the header is now obstructed and is no longer in the safe zone. We can compensate for this by moving our header down such that it is in the safe area. This can all be done in the editor without deploying to the target device, providing you, the developers and designers, real-time feedback to adjust and design your content to work on many different devices. Although we support a variety of devices out of the box, there are certainly devices that have not been accounted for. Device Simulator allows you to load custom configurations to load in different device profiles as JSON files. You can configure the location of these custom configurations by selecting Edit, Preferences, Device Simulator, Device Directory, Browse. In that same directory, create a JSON file with the configuration you see here. The JSON file must end with the device.json extension for it to be recognized and loaded properly into the editor. For more information on custom device configuration and features, follow the link to the documentation in the description. Thanks for watching.